I'm here at uh, Pampa Health Solutions out in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm here with Dr. Pampa. Dr. Pampa, thank you for being with us. Um, tell me a little bit, before we get into anything, tell me a little bit about your personal experience um, with uh, toxicity and how that affected your life and kind of how you wound up doing the things that you do now. Yeah, it's got me into the patients that I treat. Uh, I specialize in neurotoxic mediated illness. Well, you know, what's that? <laughs> That's a big yeah, word. Okay. <laughs> uh, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, you know, sleep disorders, hormone disorders. Basically the stuff that most people can't figure out. I was one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I suffered with debilitating chronic fatigue, um, couldn't sleep, insomnia, digestive uh, problems, anxiety, the works. And okay. I went from you know being a normal person to that, you know, literally pretty that quick. That kind of came about because you would be, you would kind of call what would be called toxic. Yeah. Um, and that's a big buzzword nowadays. Yeah, and, right. And, uh, you know, so you hear a lot about, a lot about detox. Right. What's, what's detox? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, toxins can range. I mean, you have just general toxins mm -hmm. from chemicals that we use every day, most of which, by the way, in our, in our own homes. Mm -hmm. uh, we hear a lot about outdoor environmental toxins, but really it's the indoor toxins that make up most of what ends up in our bodies. Yeah. Uh, there was just a new study, the Mount Sinai study, that they said basically even our children have four to seven times the level of toxins in our adults. Mm -hmm. So this has become a modern day epidemic, right. toxins. Right. However, we have big toxins like heavy metals, right. mercury from amalgam fillings, believe it or not, vaccinations. Um, you know, there, there's so many routes that people wouldn't imagine. Lead is a big topic now. Uh, most of which we probably get from our parents who grew up in the lead generation. Uh, of course, some from paint and uh, other things, painted toys from China, which we know. Uh, but those are neurotoxins. They attack the nerve system. These are the big bad guys. We also have something that most people don't know about. It's a biotoxin. Mm -hmm. Anthrax, people heard of. That's a biotoxin. Yeah, biotoxin. All it means is it's a toxin produced by a living thing. Um, however, let's pull it back to reality how it affects our everyday. Mold produces a biotoxin. Um, Lyme disease is a biotoxin, and these also are neurotoxins. That means they attack your brain. That means they affect how you feel, how you think. People walk around with brain fog, joint pain. These are biotoxic issues. We're talking about then heavy metals and biotoxins, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess if I wanted to know if I was toxic, I guess you hear a lot of different protocols. I mean, it's really a buzzword now. Everybody right. wants to detox. There's foot baths. There's vitamins, and then yeah. I guess I got to find out if I have tox uh, toxins right. in my body, what tests are accurate, um, Yeah, I mean, and, and then uh, after that, I guess, you know, um, what can I do to get these things out, and what things actually work out on the market today, what can, how can right. I make sure I do the right thing? For yeah, me and, and, it, and it's important to talk about that because there's so many fads and scams out there, especially with detox these days, um, but as far as testing goes, most people think you can take a blood test uh, to identify most of these neurotoxins. It's not true, mm -hmm. because most of these toxins are literally bound up into our tissue, and you don't let go of them. Right. Uh, most of the time when we use blood for um, a test for heavy metals or some of these neurotoxins, it's an acute exposure, meaning a short-term exposure. Um, you're perhaps getting a, um, a work exposure somewhere at work. Most of what we deal with is chronic long-term exposure. Okay. That means, again, if you have amalgam fillings in your mouth for 20 years, these leach mercury to a degree, a small degree every day, which stockpiles and accumulates in your brain and in your body. Right. So that's the thing that's not measurable unless you use the right test, where we actually give you a chelating agent that pulls the stuff out of the tissue, and then we test in the urine. So there's some blood work that we do for certain things, but typically for the heavy metals, it's always going to be a challenge with, with a urine test. Okay. Now as far as these you know, other things, the detox programs that you mentioned, the foot baths or uh, yeah. the pads on the feet, yeah. Yeah. You know, that is what I call not true detoxification. Okay. True detoxification, number one, has to be at the cellular level. That's where the toxins are. Okay. Okay? So number one, you're gonna have to fix the cell, and number two, you're gonna have to get it out of the body. So you have to use true chelators, the things that really grab onto these things and pull them out. Uh, typically that's not your herbal, over-the-counter uh, things that you buy in the store. Um, it, this is, I think, the biggest misconception is that you can just take, do a liver cleanse or a colon cleanse and, you know... Or just it, by it, fasting. Yeah, it, right, exactly. And, and these things out? are just pouring out of you. Ab ab out. Absolutely okay. not. No. So I can't sweat it out. Uh, you know, actually, uh, dry saunas, uh, dry infrared sauna. saunas, it is, it is a good way, a nice safe way to detox. Okay. Uh, so there is some truth there. However, the stuff that's in your brain, you're going to have to use different types of chelating agents, all of which are oral and very safe.